Hey guys, this is Adam from Miller's Custom Guitars in Sonora, California, and I'm doing another part swap tone comparison for you today on one of my own guitars. This is my very own Telecaster style guitar that um, I built. This was actually my first complete full from scratch build that I ever made. Uh, it's an ash body Telecaster. Me and my friend Dennis cut this on his CNC machine from his shop. Uh, it's got a warm off neck on it uh, with a compound radius. It's got a really nice big beefy neck. It's got uh, locking tuners with a, a auto trim on them so it's really easy to change the strings on it. It's also got uh, special pickups on it. It's got the uh, Fishman Fluence Greg Cock Gristle Tone pickups which are dead quiet and also besides sounding awesome also have a little um, preamp that's got a booster in it so it's almost like having a like an overdrive built right into your uh, guitar and it, they really sound awesome. Um, but one of the things that happened when I built this guitar is that I kind of cheaped out on one particular part and that was the uh, the bridge saddles. I actually bought I bought this style bridge. You can see there it comes with came with six individual saddles that were steel and they were individually intonatable and I, I thought I wanted that. I thought that would that was what I wanted. Um, and, and it was cheap and actually what I was really looking for I didn't want one of those bridges that had the the ashtray sides because I thought those would get in the way of my picking which um, I still feel that way um, but I, I got this really cheap probably on Amazon or something and I put this in to my guitar but one of the problems was that the little set screws that adjusted the height of these saddles weren't really long enough um, for my application and I could never properly set the um, action for this guitar. So that was a problem that always bothered me. I decided to myself recently, I'm going to fix that problem. I'm just going to replace the whole bridge is what I decided. And one of the things that I also decided when I was going to do that, that I would replace the saddles and swap from steel to brass. And you can see I replaced those saddles with these brass ones. And I decided to do that uh, because I feel like brass saddles on a Telecaster are an integral part to the overall tone of the instrument. They've been putting all brass barrel saddles on Telecaster guitars since the 50s. You know, it's a classic for a reason. And I wondered if that was part of my tone that was maybe missing. And so I decided to swap out that bridge and put the brass saddles onto this guitar. And as you can see, I've already done it. And so I got this bridge. You can see I got the one that it has the, the ashtray, but it's got a cut out so it won't block my pick on it. And it's got compensated barrel saddles so I can have good intonation. But what I'm gonna do is I'm, I have um, sound samples from before and after with the uh, steel saddles, with the brass saddles. And you can compare before and after, I use the same strings, the same setup in both uh, clips, and you can compare for yourself if you think it makes a difference, and I'll see you after the video. All right, everybody, I got the guitar strung up. I got the uh, saddles at the right height and intonation uh, for this guitar. Uh, one thing I should also mention is that on this guitar, I keep it uh, detuned a full step from D to D in a standard tuning. Makes it great for the blues, classic rock. Uh, makes it hard to play in some songs, but uh, that's how I keep it tuned. So if you're trying to play along, that's what's going on. I have not heard it plugged in yet. Uh, I just strum some chords. Uh, my initial thought is that maybe it has a little bit more sustain and uh, maybe it has a little bit more plunkiness. I don't know, we'll see. You're literally going on this train ride with me. So I'm gonna play a little bit and then we will do the before and after comparisons, okay? So let's hear where we're at. I got the neck pickup. Um, by the way, I didn't mention this earlier. I'm plugged straight into my 1965 vintage blackface Fender Princeton, no reverb. I did not touch the knobs, they're exactly where they were.
hit the little booster. Nick pickup. playthrough. I'm going to stop the video now and we'll, then we'll do some sound comparison. There's the before and after clips for you. Now, it doesn't always come over in the video, but I'll tell you what I'm feeling and hearing here in the room. I feel like the attack of the notes is a little different. But not just the attack, but I feel like the bloom of the notes is different. So just for fun, I figured I'd run through my pedal board so you can hear it with some effects. found that video interesting hope you learned something uh, if you have a telly that's got steel saddles and you just want to swap them out for brass or the other way around uh, or you have any modifications you want to do uh, why don't you get in touch and uh, we can see what we can do for you